Hi everyone, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to be opening up my Manga Spice Cafe box. This is a subscription that costs about $43, $44 a month. It's $39 for the subscription, but then with the shipping and handling it, it's like an additional $4. This is box number 70. And the theme to this one is Save the Planet. Now with this subscription, you get three mangas and then you get food and a drink. I do a separate video just eating the food and te like taste testing it. Otherwise it kind of becomes like a very long video. So in this little pamphlet that you get every month, it tells you about the artist or the author of the manga that you get. It talks about their um, work, what they've accomplished, and it also is supposed to give you a, there it is, it's supposed to give you a spoiler of what is coming next month. So it says next no month, it says Tetsuki Fujim Oto before Chainsaw Man 1721. I have not gotten into Chainsaw Man yet, so I'm just kind of like, meh, whatever. So there's these point system, a point reward system. So once you get, 12 of these 10 point sticker things, you can actually go on to the Manga Spice Cafe website, print off one of their sheets, and then what you do is you put all the stickers on it until it's all full, and then you get a free box for a month. So something to keep in mind, just like an extra little bonus thing. So this one says Barrage. It says fresh from SJ Alpha comes an action-packed reimagining of the Prince and the Popper, Piper. Spunky slum kid Astro gets the chance of a lifetime to end the chaos, ripping through, ripping apart his home planet when the Playboy Prince switches places with him. Now Astro has become Prince Barrage, a boy charged with the duty of restoring peace to the planet and given an all-powerful magical spear to do okay so now i get so if you've read i haven't read it in over two decades the prince and the piper is about like two boys and the prince they somehow switch bodies or they switch places not bodies but they switch places and like one of them gets the crap beat out of them so here we go i'm just gonna go through to show you some of the artwork i have not heard of this uh manga so this is going to be completely new and completely different for me to be going into. So it says that Barrage is from the same person who did My Hero Academia. It's just that like when he did Barrage, it wasn't received as well at the time. So it was actually canceled. And I guess the author or the artist actually went became depressed and then started to kind of build off that storyline and created a new series, which became My Hero, then it became My Hero Academia. And that became, of course, everyone knows what My Hero Academia is. So because of that, the author decided to bring back Barrage to kind of like show where everything started from, which I, I mean, that's cool. I didn't know that. This is also, if you don't know somehow, not this one, but my Hero Academia is an anime that you can watch. Okay, the next one is called Shy. Haven't heard of this one either. In an age when super powered defenders from each country have brought peace to the world, Japan's representative is a timid young girl known as Shy. She may be embarrassed by the mere thought of slipping into spandex, but she'll prove that despite it all, she still has the heart of a hero. All right. Oops, sorry. Something to do without a space there. Next one, go, go, loser ranger. <laughs> I 
sorry. That's pretty funny. So this one is called Go Go Lose a Reindeer. This, I mean, this title alone is super interesting. So it says, when the monster army invaded Earth 13 years ago, the divine dragon rangers rose up to stop them. With the war raging on, these great heroes are mankind's last hope. Or are they? In truth, the invaders were subjected, subjugated, I'm sorry, within a year, forced to continue to crank out a monster a week for the rangers to crush in front of their adoring fans. But one monster has had enough. Something has to change. He'll rebel against the might of the dragon rangers and destroy them all from the inside. This, honestly, this sounds like the most interesting to me and maybe because that's just like funny. I grew up watching the Power Rangers when I was quite young. So let's just take a look at some of the pictures. Again, I haven't heard of this one. I haven't read anything about it, but the concept to me is intriguing to say the least. Okay. It also says on here that um, two of the other manga, or two of the manga you received this month have a TV anime ad adaptation in works. Shy now has an official website listing the staff and cast. So Shy is, this one is also going to become an anime. So that's cool. Um, no premiere date has been announced yet. The same has been done for Go Go Loser Ranger. Though the staff and cast information and premiere date have not been announced. So that's cool. Like I said, the, the Loser Ranger one, I think I'm the most interested in in this series, but that's really cool Like that a lot of manga is becoming anime. I think that is really nice because at least when I was younger, long time ago um there really wasn't that much anime on tv when i was in middle school and high school there was legitimately only three that i can name for you minus i think cowboy bebop was one but i didn't watch that i watched inuyasha i watched full metal alchemist and i watched wolfram those were the three that i remember very clearly from my childhood. Aside from that, other than movies, anime really wasn't that big of a thing yet. So to me, I think it's really awesome that anime is kind of like pushing through and making like a lot more progress and doing a lot more different stories. I do find it interesting and I really love it. The only issue that I have come across is that there might be an anime adaptation from a manga but they don't finish it. So they may do one or two seasons and then just stop and never actually complete the story. So then you'll have to go and find the manga to finish what happened to the characters, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but a lot of other people do. <clears throat> so that's all three of the manga that I got from this subscription box. I do want to say that I'm, I'm putting a pause or I have put a pause on my subscription box because we are moving into a house soon. We need to save some money so we can pay for repairs because it's a repo. So I'm not planning on getting another box, I think until like April or May. So there's going to be uh, some gaps or a big gap in between the boxes. Not saying I'm not gonna review manga anymore. I'm just not going to have among the spice cafe box video for a couple months but i appreciate you watching i hope you have a wonderful day and yeah bye everyone